Back here in Jacksonville, family members say they can't wait to meet their baby girl after so many years. Her brother, her, her youngest brother. This is her youngest brother. I, got, I got a lot of questions. I got a lot. I just, I'm just taking it one day at a time, one hour at a time. You know, now we had to rest our life together. That's Craig Aiken. He's Kamaya Mobley's father, and he says her family never gave up hope that she would somehow find her way home. We reached out to Kamaya's mother, who also lives here in Jacksonville. She told us she is not ready yet to speak publicly. Channel 4's Heather Lee spoke with several members of Kamaya's family. Heather, to think they are now planning a reunion with this long-lost loved one. Well, you know, Tom, that's exactly right. They have been able to talk with Kamaya over FaceTime. They say seeing her face has been amazing. They say she looks happy and healthy, and she's excited to meet everyone and make up for lost time. So much time has passed for the family of Kamaya Mobley. It's been a long 18 years. I always hoped and prayed for this day to happen. Um, I never gave up. You know, you never lose hope. You know what I'm saying? No matter how, how time passes, you never give up, you know. Craig Aiken and his family say detectives showed up to deliver the news. I just always thought that it would happen one day, but I didn't have no idea it was going to be this day. Friday the 13th, this is supposed to be a bad luck day, but it's a good day for me. The family says right now their main focus is Kamaya. Aiken says they have talked with her on FaceTime, but didn't want to ask her about the last 18 years just yet. I hadn't seen her since. I saw her the day that she was taken, and I hadn't seen her uh, since. And I don't want her to scare her away. So I'm going slow motion, because I want to keep her now. I don't want to run her. Craig Aiken says although he didn't give up hope, he wasn't sure if the detectives were still trying. He now knows they were. From the detectives that have been working on it for 18 years, put on all their time, even when we thought they wasn't working on it, they still was working on it. I had to tell them people thank you for what they have done, and I appreciate that. Now, family members tell me when this first happened, they were angry. That's all gone now. They say they do not have time to be mad anymore. They want authorities to take care of everything else while they take care of Kamaya. Heather Lee, Channel 4, the local station. Heather, when you reached out to Shannara Mobley, Kamaya's mother today, what did she tell you? She didn't tell me anything. We actually knocked on her door. She wouldn't answer. We did speak with a family member of hers, and she just says that this is a very difficult time for her right now. She's just not ready to speak, and of course, we understand that. So of course, I've left my information with them, and hopefully we will hear from her soon. Heather Lee reporting to us live. Thank you, Heather.